Fetchers of America, good morning. It's good to see you. It could be good evening by the time you watch this or any time of day. I miss seeing you in person. If you think learning online sucks, so does teaching online. <laughs> we miss seeing you. Hope you guys are all healthy and doing well. I want to talk to you a little bit today about how to succeed in taking a class online, um, especially when all of your classes are online. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is <clears throat> I want to talk to you about creating structure. Structure is going to be super important in your life. If you're staying up till all hours of the night playing Fortnite, uh, if you're you know online or you know on your phone, you know looking at all your Instagram notifications uh, till wee hours in the morning, and then staying up till or getting up um, at noon or one o'clock in the afternoon, you're gonna have a hard time succeeding. Part of your structure is um, to have a set schedule. Diamond Dave is here with me today. Can you, can you see all the writing on, the, yep. on here to go? We wanna make sure you guys can see. You wanna have a set schedule. Uh, you wanna get up uh, at the same time. Okay, your set schedule should be Monday through Friday. You know, you can take weekends off just like you normally do. Uh, but you want to get up at the same time every day. You want to create a routine. Okay, part of structure is creating a routine. Uh, you need to have set times to study for each class. Okay? So if you've got four or five classes, whatever it may be, you have certain times of the day that you always uh, chime into those classes um, and study them. You know, some of your classes obviously have some set times to, to you know, join in. Um, those will help you define your structure uh, when it comes to creating your routine. Uh, other things that you should include, and uh, you know, there's prayer. That's pretty important at a time like this. And there's your scripture study. Okay. And uh, there's other things too. Exercise. You know, uh, around the nation, most of the gyms are closed or limited access. And, you know, so out here on the farm, uh, me and my wife and kids, we've been, you know, taking walks and, and riding our bikes and, and doing things, push-ups, sit-ups, you know, things that you can do at home. But uh, that's pretty important. If you're spending a lot of time indoors and you're not moving around a lot, um, it, can, it can really start to affect your mental health. You need to take some time every day to make that part of your routine. Uh, the other thing I'd recommend, just simple little things I'm not going to write on the board, um, is part of your routine. Get up every day like you normally would. Shower. Uh, get dressed. Um, if you want to wear your workout clothes right from the beginning of the morning, it's kind of like, you know, you know you're going to uh, get that workout in, uh, whether it's just jogging or, you know, doing some indoor yoga or Zumba or whatever it is you do that, that makes you tick. Um, but uh, I would recommend getting dressed. Um, sometimes look at, you know, me today. I'm just dressed for you and the camera, um, but you know you can dress a little nice, do your hair, you know, do your makeup if you're a girl, whatever it may be. Um, these kind of things they make a difference um, when you just kind of roll into your online classes and you know your hair's disheveled and you're wearing your pajamas and eating your cereal, whatever it may, may be. You know, there's a part of that that seems kind of like, oh, that'd be cool, but it, it starts to really water down what you're doing. And suddenly you're slooping in your chair and you're just half asleep and it takes two hours to do, you know, a 30-minute task. Uh, when you shower and you get yourself going, you can be more productive. And I, I really recommend this, you know. All my children are home from school uh, probably for the rest of the year. Uh, around the nation, most schools are shutting down. If they haven't already, they're going to. Um, we're all in the same boat together, and, and that's one thing we found at our home is we have to create and stick to a routine or we start getting pretty, pretty crazy with it. So that's enough on routine. One last thing I want to share with you guys in this little video blurb today um, is about tests. So your tests are online, um, and we are sending you out an email. Uh, if you haven't received one already, um, I'll be sending one out today and it's talking to you about your honesty and your integrity. Talked to you about this in the beginning of the semester and uh, still stand by what we shared with you, you know, a couple of months ago. Get what you earn. Don't misrepresent yourself. It becomes totally easy uh, to cheat in an online environment. Uh, you know, you can sit there, I mean, 
you, you, we all know, you can sit there with your phone and you can look up other stuff and you can talk to people, you can have other people take the test for you. You know, if I'm giving you bright ideas right now, erase them all. Uh, the point of this is to tell you, don't do that. Um, do all you can to prepare for the test. You still have the opportunity to retake it. And uh, I ask you, and I implore you um, on this to, in this online environment, remember, you are trying to prepare yourself to handle collegiate level math. And in order to do that, um, we want the test to be legitimate for you. So let's study, let's work hard. Final thing, final thing. Um, I did tell you that uh, the testing was my last thing, but I do uh, want to tell you another thing that is critical for success in taking classes online is, you know, now Communication Central, okay, Communication Central is your email and Canvas. Uh, guys, you got to be checking this every day. Uh, if you um, don't turn in assignments, if you don't um, achieve uh, the various things that we're asking you to do to show us that you've been attending or taking a quiz or whatnot, you're going to fail. And that would be really junky. Uh, the end of the semester, you know, still looms. And one thing the online environment cannot do for you is it cannot change the end of the semester. And so if you reach out, you know, sometime after the end of the semester and say, hey, can I still turn this in? It's going to be too late. Uh, you've got to get all this stuff done. The beauty of learning online is flexibility. You can choose your own schedule. So that's why the structure becomes really important. And so we're trying to give you um, a little bit of lucidity uh, to this um, I don't know, setup and allow you to you know, do your homework and watch the lectures you know, um, around a, a set of time versus you know, a, a period of time versus a set schedule. We love you guys. I miss you. Um, I keep saying we, because uh, Diamond Dave's here, and we're doing this for both of our classes. Uh, if if uh, Dave's students are watching, uh, sorry, I miss you too. I only got you for a few days, but you are Fetchers as well. That's always a term of endearment. You guys stay healthy, stay well, and we'll catch you in the next video.